Hello sweeties and in this video we're going to do some data profiling. So this all came from a conversation I was having for a colleague. So I wrote a store procedure just to do a little bit of work. So code is here, I'll put it in the below underneath in the description. So if I'll run it and then I'll talk through why while it's executing. So um, he was talking about wanting to know what the best columns are for a table. So if we look at this table here, we can see there's some fair char maxes. Now, are these really right? You know, should this be an int? Should this be a big int? And he was trying to load in data from an external table into a table in data warehouse and trying to pick the best data types. So I thought, well, that can't be too hard to do. So I put together this little store procedure that goes and profiles the data. So it pulls all the columns back, the data types in the system, the length, the minus one is max. And then it brings back the minimum value, the maximum value, and how many distinct values there are. It also brings back the length. So for example, this only goes to two, this one goes to seven, um, mostly ideally for the strings. You can see that these columns here are VHR maxes, and we're storing hardly anything in the string. So it's a complete waste. And you can see that this is an int, could be a small int. So by using something like this, we can quickly see on a very small table how, how the data types involved and whether we could actually make those data types even more efficient and help the optimizer make the best job. Also, this does a nice, also secondary job, which I was talking to a different colleague and he pointed out that we could also use this to pull back whether this was a good distribution column. So if we wanted to hash distribute, that would be a terrible distribution column because it's too small. So, so it's a really quick way of finding out if it's a good column for a distribution. And that's it. If we scroll down, it's actually, it's not the best bit of code in the world. And it's very slow because data profiling is very slow. So I actually store all the data in a real table that I create, not a temp table. This means that we can query at any point after the, the, after the execution. So I don't have to rerun it again just to get those values out. But every time it runs, it deletes it. Now, we could create multiple tables, etc. different, you know, append the name of the table onto it so it's always consistent. Um, I just thought we're using the same one just for this example. Okay, and then we create this temporary table. We give it a column ID, column name, data types. So these are all the system information, and then these are the ones that we're going to derive by looking at the table. Uh, this looks at all the system. This gets all the system information out from these DMVs, inserts it into our table. I'm just going to pull out the number of rows so we can actually see whether is that a big number? Yeah, is that a big number? So you can actually see from there that's how many distinct values. So every row has got a distinct value. And I just put that on the end of all of them. And then create some dynamic SQL that goes through for each column, finding the distinct values, the, the, the minimum length, maximum length, the minimum value, the maximum value. And there are other things we could do and add. But because this goes through each column and goes through all the rows in the table, it could be very slow. Very, 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 very slow. So if you want to use this or you want to try this out, try this out on very small tables with very few rows and then build up. Otherwise, you could be waiting hours and hours and hours for this to execute. All right. Thanks for your time. Bye bye. Love you.